In this project, we are going to create an MCQ grader, which will automatically grade the MCQs for us. So here we have an example image that we have created. And uh, as you can see, there is a border line around it to make it easier for us to cut. And then we have a total of 20 different MCQs that we have to fill, and then we can grade simply. So here you have the option to add name as well, but we are not going to look at that for now. What we are interested in is the answers of A, B, C, or D. So we are going to select which one did the student select and we can also detect if they did not select anything. So we will have a look at that. So what we will do is we will upload images and based on those images, uh, we will decide if it's correct or wrong. So for example, here we have six correct. Here we have six as well, but different. And here we have 17 correct. Here we did not add any answers and this is our original image. So we will test on all these files and let's see how it performs. So here we have our project. So we are going to go ahead and run it. And of course we have a backend working as well. So uh, we have a secret recipe how we are doing this. And here you can see this is the backend working. So we are going to put that on one side and we will go to our uh, MCQ sheet. And here we have to choose the file. Let's start with uh, number six and we will hit upload and there you go. So that's how fast this works. So here the red ones, they indicate that the answer is wrong and the green ones, they indicate that the answer that they have marked is correct. And the blue ones are basically the ones that they did not mark at all. So they can come on A, B, C or D, whatever they come on, it doesn't matter. It just tells you that the blue uh, is basically they did not mark. So we have a total of six answers that are correct. So that's why we have 30% correct. And here we have the answer. We will choose another file and this is also six but these are different ones and here again two of them are not marked uh, here you can see they rubbed it off and that's why it's not marked here they rubbed it as well but here they put it back again so here you can see uh, these are the ones that are uh, correct the green ones and then we have the red ones that are wrong and we have the blue ones which were not marked then let's go ahead and try the 17 we will hit upload and there you go. So these are the correct ones and the red ones are the wrong ones and there are no um, answers that were not marked. Now, in order to test it really, what we can do is we can just print it and we can check with empty. So with empty, we should get all blue. So there you go. It doesn't matter which one it marked. If it's blue, it means it, did, it, it wasn't marked. So how do we do that? That's exactly uh, what we are going to learn. And it gives you very quickly and very efficiently tells you what exactly is the answer. And here, one thing to note is that we are using a black background and on top of that, we have our paper because this is a fixed environment. For example, if a teacher is grading, they can put it on their table and they can just take images or using a webcam, they can just put it there and hit enter and it can save the image and send it to the back. And so this is a fixed environment. It is possible to have a black background and then have something on top of that so that the computation is easier. It's not um, where you have a lot of different scenarios. You can have fixed scenarios in this as well. So uh, a limited background with uh, your page in front of it, that is what we are going to work with. And we are going to detect this MCQs and grade them. So let's go ahead and look at the JavaScript code first. 